Hello, with this video, we are going to see through another new application for Windows 10 Mobile. It is from a passionate developer called MP Real who is also an admin in our team. The application is called Windows Phone Dev Portal and like you have guessed by the name, it's an application for Microsoft Device Portal. As for the requirements, we will do the first one during the setup. And as for the second one, it means that the app will run in any Windows 10 mobile build which is above the build 10240. The production builds start from 10586 so basically, you are mostly running a supported higher build cause pre-10240 builds are not even a thing now. Now there is a list of features of the application. And in the end, there are several notes crediting the people who helped the developer create the app. Enough intro, continue to the next part of the video to download, install and set up the application. First let's download the application, you could have downloaded the full package from the GitHub releases too but I'm going to use Windows Universal Tools to download the app due to a specific reason. Go to Windows 10 Mobile Group Repository and then to Tools and Tweaks folder. There find WP Dev Portal folder and download the app. This is the same as downloading from GitHub, under the hood. It grabs the latest release from GitHub and downloads it. After downloading the zip, Windows Universal Tools will automatically unzip it. Then furthermore, it will also install the app package file inside the zip along with its dependencies too. This is the reason I chose to use Windows Universal Tools to download the app. Because, by using it, you can skip doing all that manually by yourself. Now go to the app list and you will see that it's installed. Currently, it has the default UWP logo but that can change in future releases. But you can't run the app yet. You need to enable device portal in device settings, open settings, then go to update and security, then to for developers, I will predict that you have developer mode enabled, scroll to bottom and activate device portal, then turn off authentication. That's all the setup required for the app. Go open the WP Dev Portal app. Click on the connect button and wait until the IP address field outline turns to green. That means the connection is established with the device portal. First is the applications tab, there you can manage the applications in your device. Which means you can both install new apps as well as manage the currently installed application in your device too. It can also use to quickly retrieve app infos for installed applications like in Interop Tools. Now going to the Processes tab, there is a pros and a con compared to the Processes view from Windows Universal Tools. This app can display processes without root access unlike Windows Universal Tools but it won't let you manage the processes, it's inspect only which it does really good though. Third tab is the Performance tab, there, you can view the real-time performance of your phone CPU, GPU, memory, and network stats in clean graphs. This view can get heavy for some low-end devices so if that's the case, you might experience some lags. But overall, it's pretty good and accurate. The last feature tab is the device tab, in here, you can view driver informations for all hardware component in your device like you are able in web device portal. That's all, so literary, it allows you to do everything the web portal do but the app is more convenient than using browser to access. But this app is new, so new features can arrive in future, until then, goodbye and have a good day.